Hi, so I just want to add a little uh, addendum to the previous video that uh, I uploaded. So in this video, we differentiated the modulus of x to the power of x. We differentiated, uh, we differentiated this function, sorry. And we got the result modulus of x to the power of x multiplied by 1 plus the natural logarithm of the modulus of x. So that was our result. So where is this function defined? Um, so for what x values does this hold true for? Well, this function, this modulus of x to the x function is actually defined for all real numbers. So x can be any real number. Um, so this is because, well, when you take the modulus of a real number, it's always going to be a number greater than zero. So the modulus of x is always greater than or equal to zero. So therefore, regardless of uh, the value of x, we know that the modulus of x to the x is always going to be defined um, and it's always going to be a value greater than or equal to zero. Um, so essentially, yeah, so it doesn't matter what, which uh, real value of x you substitute into this uh, function, you will get a defined value. And so this derivative is defined for all x in the real numbers. So for all x in the real numbers. And of course, you got this natural logarithm of... Uh, of the uh, modulus of x. So in fact, what I should say is that it's defined for all x in the real numbers apart from at zero, uh, because the natural logarithm uh, of zero is undefined. Um, so yeah, so apart from that, uh, this is uh, all true. And in fact, I'm gonna write that down here as well, that the x must be in the real numbers apart from zero. Um, and that's also because zero to the power of zero is not really defined. Um, so not defined. Um, so whether that's zero or whether that's one, um, we're not too sure. Um, so yeah, so that's just a note that I wanted to make uh, on top of the previous video.